Hi everyone, with warm greetings, I welcome you all to this series of lectures on livestock and poultry healthcare. I am Master Nikhil Govind Malali from College of Agriculture, Vijaypura. The topic I will be discussing in this lecture is Hemolactia. Then what is Hemolactia? Hemolactia, just split this word into two. First one is Hemo and then Lactia. The meaning of Hemo is nothing but blood and Lactia is milk. By this we get the meaning of the word hemolactia. Hemolactia is nothing but the condition in which blood is present in milk. A dairy cow with hemolactia produces milk that is reddish or pinkish due to presence of blood. The immediately the next question that strikes to our mind is what causes hemolactia? There are several different causes of blood in milk. First one being hemorrhage systemic microbial infections, feeding con feeds containing natural toxins and dyes, deficiency of blood platelets, vitamin C deficiency and also due to rough milking and acute or chronic mastitis. Then what is hemorrhage? Hemorrhage is nothing but bleeding from damaged blood vessels. Hemorrhage by diapedesis. Diapedesis is passage of blood through capillary walls into adjoining tissues. You can see in this photo the blood is being passed from capillary tubes into adjoining tissues. Similarly, hemorrhage by diapedesis in which RBCs are present in the alveoli of the mammary gland occurs quite frequently just after calving. Systemic microbial infections. Several infections including those caused by bacteria, viruses and reddish may cause systemic infections associated with intravascular hemolysis and capillary damage in udder. This leads to reddish or pinkish discoloration of the milk. Then if at all we feed animals with feeds containing natural toxins or dyes, sometimes reddish discoloration is sometimes reddish discoloration of milk is due to feeding of fodders belonging to family Rubiaceae. Certain plant toxins present in ranunculi, conifers, poplars, uh, alders, etc. may cause capillary damage leading to reddish discoloration of milk. The next cause being deficiency of blood platelets. Thrombocytopenia. Thrombocytes, nothing but blood platelets. Cattle affected with disease characterized by low platelet count may, re may show reddish or pinkish discoloration of milk due to leakage of blood into milk. One important point to be noted is that normal platelet count in cow is 1 to 8 into 10 power 5 number of blood platelets per microliter of blood. Then what are the symptoms of this hemolactia? The first and major symptom being the presence of blood in milk that is reddish or pinkish discoloration of milk. Some other non-specific signs include fever, hemoglobinuria, abortion and decrease in appetite and milk yield. Then what is hemoglobinuria? Again split the word into two, hemoglobin and urea. Then what is hemoglobin? Hemoglobin is nothing but a blood carrying protein that gives the blood red color and urea nothing but urine. You can see here hemoglobin leaks into urine and makes it dark or reddish color. Then how to diagnose this blood in milk? What confirms you that there is presence of blood in milk? There are several different diagnostic workups. We can go, go through one by one. If the milk with the suspected presence of blood is left undisturbed for few hours in a transparent glass container, the lower portion of the milk in that container will reveal the presence of blood clots when hemorrhage is the cause of bloody milk. Then the next uh, diagnostic method is no sedimentation of RBCs will occur when reddish discoloration due, is due to lysis of RBCs and color of milk will remain uniform throughout. In case hemorrhage is the cause of the uh, blood in milk then you, you, can, you can observe the blood clots. If at all uh, the blood in milk is due to lysis of RBCs there is no sedimentation. The uh, blood is mixed uniformly throughout even though if you have kept it undisturbed for a few hours. Then uh, 
centrifugation of milk at the speed of 2500 rpm for 10 minutes will result in visible sedimentation of rbcs at the bottom of the centrifuge tube made up of transparent glass if at all you centrifuge the blood in milk uh, the bloody milk that or hemolactic milk at the speed of 2500 rpm for 10 minutes you can get the sedimentation of sedimented rbcs at the bottom of the centrifuge tube in case in which the presence of in case in which the presence of extremely little blood in milk is suspected then benzidine test or hemocult slide test can be performed but it should be noted that benzidine is a non carcinogen and as such its use should be avoided you can uh, refer the uh, structural formula of benzidine here then uh, you can you can also perform blood platelet count in case in cases which do not respond to conventional treatments as thrombocytopenia is one of the cause of blood in milk if at all thrombocytopenia is a cause you can uh, know it by counting the blood platelets also you can uh, do surf field mastitis test or subclinical mastitis test to rule out mastitis as a cause of blood in milk then what is mastitis mastitis is nothing but inflammation of udder this topic mastitis will be covered by my other friends in this series of lectures you can go through it also to how to perform this mastitis test uh, surf field mastitis test you can use 3% solution of household detergent household detergent nothing but like surfexcel wheel or some other and milk sample of each quarter separately remember that cow has four quarters the udder of the cow has four quarters and collect the milk milk from each quarter separately and perform this surf field mastitis test separately the formation of gel indicates the presence of mastitis then what are the treatments for this hemolactia some some of the treatments for this hemolactia are intravenous administration of calcium administration of vitamin c administration of antioxidants and if at all the cause of blood in milk is is not known then antibiotics should be given by injection as well as through intramammary route blood transfusion when thrombocytopenia is the cause of the hemolactia then transfusion of 4 to 6 liters of blood from a healthy donor should be considered hope you got an insight you got insights about hemolactia uh, and uh, hope you liked this video thank you